What's up guys? Shad Juice here. Back at you with another episode of Video Game Finds. Got some cool stuff to show you. I got a couple decent lots. Some stuff from uh, CD Game Exchange. Uh, flea Market. Maybe a pawn shop. Just one game from there. And then some Craigslist pickups. First we'll start off with some stuff I got at CD Game Exchange. Picked up an NES game I didn't have, uh, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. I think it was like four bucks. And uh, I seen this there too, Muhammad Ali Heavyweight Boxing, R.I.P. Definitely the greatest of all time. Uh, I know these were going up, these were on hype, you know, going for high dollars on eBay. But I just got it because I just to keep it. I like Muhammad Ali, and this was really clean. Really clean. I mean, the cartridge and the manual in the box is like in mint shape. Still got the hang tab. So that was five bucks. That was a pretty good deal. I add that to my Sega collection. Uh, I went up there another day. Picked up uh, another NES game I didn't have. Tiger Heli. I don't know how I didn't have that. Let me see. There's been some box Super Nintendo games been there for a while. Now this one was marked twenty bucks, and he does deals with me, man. He's a really cool guy, and uh, I asked him what the best he could do on. I'll just show you the game, Fatal Fury in the box. It's complete, manuals in real good shape, cartridges is great shape. But I said, what was the best you could do? And he said fifteen. Then he uh, came up to me and said, yeah, I looked up the game. It was only going for like three bucks, so I could do ten. I was like, well, hey, man, throw in Tiger Heli, and I'll ten bucks for that and Fatal Fury. He did that, so that was cool. Always oh, hooking me up, man. He's a really nice guy. I mean, the stuff's been sitting there for a while. He might as well sell it. Uh, This was an eBay purchase. Got uh, Adventure Island 2. This is the last one I needed for the trilogy. I got this for like 7 bucks and like a couple bucks shit, man. That was a deal. This usually goes for at least 20 And it said, it didn't show a picture of it, but he said he would also include the manual. Which, the game came in the mail, didn't have the manual. So I messaged him and said, oh man, I forgot. And uh, a few days later I got the manual in the mail. Real good shape, so. That was a steal seven bucks for that game with the manual real good deal then i was at a flea market recently picked up another game to complete the trilogy on the nes we got double dragon 3 he had 15 on it which is about the going rate i said will you take 10 he said sure so uh paid 10 bucks for that which ended up being free <laughs> I went to CVS a couple hours later. I was walking in the parking lot. Boom, found five bucks on the ground. I said, wow, that's awesome. So I go in, get whatever I was getting. I was like, I'm going to check around outside when I come back out. Bam, found another five bucks. So that game was free. <laughs> Can't beat that. Uh, Let's see. Let's go with the pickups. We'll do an NES pickup here. I'm trying to... Make sure I do these right. Alright. We'll do this pickup first. It was 11 games. I think I paid 25 bucks. I'll show you what I got here. Really good deal. We got a uh, Dragon Warrior. A double Dribble. Bigfoot. A lot of these games are really dirty, and I cleaned them. And luckily, they all worked. Caveman games. Tecmo World Wrestling. It's kind of an un uncommon game. It's not really expensive, but it's uncommon. Joe and Mac. I think that's the second time I've come across that game. I think these... No, hold on. We got DuckTales. Woo! -hoo. Uh, is that? The plastic was broke off in the middle, so the board's kind of wobbly, but it works. These are the games I didn't have. 
rollerblade racer. Rescue the Embassy Mission. Codename Viper. Nice Capcom title. And I've been after this game for a while. The Adventures of Lolo. I'd love to get the trilogy, but the other two are kind of pricey. Hopefully down the road we'll pick them up. And this next lot was... I think I paid 25 bucks for this lot, too. Half of them are sports games, but... It's a decent pickup, man. They're in a lot, really good condition. We got uh, All Pro Basketball. I think this is a stack I don't have. Nintendo World Cup. Tech Mobile. I know I have to have this. I'm going to have to look. But it's not on my list. It says I have it. Is that Ar Archon? I don't know how to say that right. Tecmo Baseball. Bases loaded three. I think I need the fourth one still. That's the hardest one to find, I think. You got a uh, Gold Medal Challenge 92. It's a Capcom title. Now these I already had. Got Pinball. Mario Duck Hunt. World Games. Some writing on there from Games and More. That's some really nice handwriting. <laughs> Bases loaded. Solomon's Key. Gyro Might. Another one from Games and More. Got John Elway's quarterback club, NES play action football, Solstice, Super Sprint, MLB. I love that game. Uh, another. This is weird. I got. Another copy of Rollerblade Racer, which is in better condition than the other one. And another game that I finally got, I got again within a few days. Adventures of Lolo. This one's in better shape too, so I'm going to switch those out. Um, The lady had said they, they had Super Dodgeball. They couldn't find it. She called me up a day or two later and they found it, so I went and picked that up. I gave her another 5 bucks for that, so that's awesome. One I've been wanting to add to the collection for a while. And to top it off, we got a bunch of manuals. There's a bunch of like paperwork from the games, posters and stuff. I can show you all those. I'll show you the manuals I got. Tech Mobile, World Cup, World Games, Track and Field 2, NES Football, Town and Country Surf Design, which that game won. I didn't get the game. We got Puznik. Didn't get that game either. Bases loaded. Tecmo Baseball. It's always nice to add some manuals to the collection. They're in pretty good shape, too. Okay, that's it for the NES lots. Uh, I do have another lot. Sega stuff I got. We got some Sega CD, 32X, and Genesis, and some Game Boy stuff. Show you the Sega CD and all that stuff first. We got a. Uh, I think I paid sixty bucks for this lot. I can't remember. We got Weapon Lord for the Genesis Complete. All right. Give me a second here, guys. Sega CD. We got a uh, CNC Music Factory. We don't have the manual. We got Tomcat Alley, no manual. We got Stellar Fire, complete. Racing Aces. 
Jurassic Park. Sewer Shark. I think that was one of the pack end games for Sega CD. We got uh, Prince of Persia. Uh, and last for Sega CD, Crisscross. Make you wanna jump, jump. <laughs> I've never put. I don't. I've had this. I got it right down there, down the bottom shelf. I don't remember ever playing it. It was goofy, I'm sure, but. It was cool back in the day because that was the end thing. If you're a 90s kid. Alright, we got some 32X games here. We got NFL Quarterback Club. I don't have that one. We got uh, Doom, Complete Box. Yeah, Cosmic Carnage. I didn't have that. Mortal Kombat 2. I could have swore I had that game. I just not down there. We got uh, Slam City, Scotty Pippen, Sega CD32X. The best one in the bunch I probably got was Supreme Warrior. It's complete. This is a duplicate, so I'll be able to get some money back that I paid for that. Um, got Street Fighter 2. It's just the cartridge. Uh, he threw in some empty boxes he found. Sonic the Hedgehog. That actually has a game in it. These were extra boxes. NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Sonic 2. General Chaos. I wish I had that one. Then there was a Game Boy lot. Came with it. Got a Game Boy. It's in pretty decent shape. Had the battery pack. Had some corrosion in it. If you can't see that in there, I got some of it out. It powered up and then it quit working. So I don't know if I need to mess with the corrosion still or what. He said it worked, but I don't believe him. Maybe he's right. But, uh, got the Game Boy, a cleaning kit, a couple games, We've got Turtles, Fall of the Foot Clan, Dr. Mario, good old Tetris, the best game in the bunch, Metroid 2. It's nice to get a few games for Game Boy, because I don't have a lot for the original Game Boy. And, uh, it all came in this, uh, nice Game Boy case, but I don't know if he, he said he had it in the back of his truck and it had tons of soil, and soil was in the bag and everything, it was a pain, I just ended up throwing the bag away, it was kind of nasty. But in one of the pockets, they had a bunch of manuals, which was cool. Uh, I don't, like I said, I only got a couple Game Boy games, but there's a lot of manuals. We got for the compact video game system, Dr. Mario... Alleyway, Pac-Man, Bugs Bunny, Tetris. I know some people don't care about manuals, but some people do. Paperboy, Wordtress. I guess it's some kind of Tetris game of words. Another Dr. Mario, Super Mario Land, Turtles. Tetris, Super Mario Land 2, which I got the Super Mario Land, so that's cool. Bubble Bobble, I wish she would have had that game. Aerostar, another Super Mario Land. Uh, just a cover and back to another Mario Land 2. Um, this big one for the rechargeable battery pack AC adapter. I do have that. It's missing one of the cords. Cleaning kit. And uh, that's it, guys. That was kind of a longer video, but I appreciate it. anybody to stay tuned the whole video to watch. Let me know uh, what some favorite stuff I found that you like. Drop a comment.
love reading the comments and replying to them guys hit the like button if you ain't subscribed go ahead if you like the channel peace